World Refugee Day is an international day designed by the United Nations to honor refugees around the globe and take stock of the challenges faced by displaced populations around the world. Celebrated each year on June 20, Refugee Day highlights the strength and courage of people who have been forced to flee their home country to escape conflict and persecution. The Gambia Immigration Department partnered with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and the international community to commemorate the day. Farmer Fadera, a commissioner of the Gambia Commission for Refugees, said the annual commemoration by the United Nations was established to celebrate refugees to their resilience in the face of conflict, highlighting the number of Global Trends Report of Refugees in 2022. UNICEF's Global Trends Report presents key statistical trends and the latest official statistics on refugees. Asylum seekers, internally displaced and stateless people, the world over. At the end of 2022, we were made to understand that 108.4 million people worldwide were forcefully displaced as a result of persecution, conflict, violence, human rights violations, and events seriously disturbing public order in their various countries. Globally, 35.3 million are refugees out of this figure that we just made mention of. 62.5 million are IDPs, those are internally displaced people or persons. 5.4 million are asylum seekers. And then 5.2 million others in need of international protection. World Refugee Day is a significant expression of solidarity with people who have been migrated from their homes due to war conflict or prosecution. Mr. Baim Boob, the Gambia Immigration Department Commissioner of Administration, said GID joins the world in recognizing the rights of refugees globally. Solution for refugees and the power of inclusion. The Gambia Immigration Department is in solidarity with all refugees today. As grounded in Article 14 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1948, which recognizes the right of person to seek asylum from the world, therefore, the Gambia is not an exception as a receiving country. Provisions in 1951 Convention, however, are quite exceptional and possesses a very special meaning for refugees. The Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Interior, Asan Tangara, highlighted the need to protect refugees, saying his ministry is committed to supporting vulnerable families, such as children with disabilities. Ladies and gentlemen, protecting refugees is a responsibility. We will all share thus the establishment of the Gambia Commission for Refugees in 2008 through an act of parliament. This commission, in partnership with all relevant stakeholders, has been working tirelessly in addressing the problem of refugees and other POC in the Gambia in fulfillment of our international commitment. The Gambia will always be safe haven for refugees and other persons of concern. I'm aware that refugees and their families have equal access as their national counterpart in all public health facilities, schools, the courts and financial institutions. This has been realized through advocacy by GCR and other partners with the support of my ministry in the following areas. A memorandum of understanding signed between UNHCR and the Ministry of Health for Refugees and other POs, POCs to have equal access to health care services as nas nationals. Memorandum of understanding between UNHCR and NALA for refugees and the other POC to have access to legal services and representation in the courts on pro bono basis that is free of charge. The Commission and its stakeholders have been working tirelessly in addressing problems faced by refugees and other stakeholders in the fulfillment of international commitments. Bawasila, JRTS.